Uh, what's up guys? So today we are going to be reacting to the evolution of Michael Myers himself by Teleanimated. Go, make sure to go subscribe to his channel. Alright, let's get into this. Michael Myers just keeps on coming back. Often worse for wear. But just how has the slasher changed over time? Let's find out now. Reanimated. Michael first appears as a murderous six-year-old in a clown costume who gets tossed into a mental institution. Fifteen years later, he breaks out, donning his iconic greenish coveralls and a Captain Kirk mask painted white, giving him big eye holes, and dyed brown hair that is partially shaved. He's also yeah. seen in a spooky ghost disguise. He yeah, then he just go goes range, and kills But before somebody. he can finish off his last victim, Lori Strode, he shot down. Taking place the same night in Halloween 2, Michael is stockier, his coveralls are damaged, and his mask is aged with reddish hair. Yeah, for some reason. Yeah, for some reason it was aged. I don't know why. <laughs> this is some explanation for uh, for the for the directors to answer. So, uh, uh, so that could be because well. The second one has been has uh, was like a couple years later. Who happens to be his sister? But he gets shot in the eyes and exploded, clearly burning to a crisp. Halloween three follows Doctor Chalice and his way too young partner as they investigate. Yeah, I don't even evil think Michael Myers was. And his fleet of Andrew. I don't even think Michael Myers was even in the third one. It was just about like witches or something. Who plan to use witchcraft to melt kids' heads on Halloween? Oh, and uh, Mike. That's messed up, <laughs> right there, guys. That's messed up. Cop. Michael makes a brief cameo Come on. on a TV screen. In Halloween 4, a still alive bandaged Michael awakens from a 10 year coma. He's larger and wears striped coveralls and a less defined mask that has an extended neck, shocked eyebrows, and slicked hair with added sideburns. It also sometimes has tinier eye holes and occasionally turns pink and blonde. After he learns of his sister's uh. death, he sets his sights on her daughter, but his shot Why? He's just a little dude. She's just a little kid. She wants to kill, and he wants to kill the little kid. Having his niece, but let's ignore that because in Halloween Five, Michael is nursed back to health by a hermit. His jumpsuit is dirtier, and his mask is now oddly flared with an angrier expression. Hold on, guys. Somebody's messing with the new blender. So hold on. Let me just come back to you guys. Just hold on. Hi right, guys. I am back. Larger nose and silky hair. He also goes incognito in a more brutish mask. Mm -hmm. uh, that mask looks creepy. Here with her before being tossed in jail. Although a mysterious man in black busts him out. Six years later, in curse, <sighs> Michael wears sleek gray coveralls and a more ghoulish mask with large ears, dark lips, and messy hair. He also sometimes looks slimmer. It's revealed that Michael is controlled by a druid curse to exterminate <laughs> his family. So he goes after his niece's baby, but gets tranquilized and knocked out. Oh yeah, that's. Pretty Producers That's Pearl mobilized by a what, circle what? of stones what? and then stealthily sneaks away. Ignoring the previous four films, in H2O, Michael goes on a road trip to find Laurie Strode. He gains height, lacks any burns, wears charcoal colored yeah. coveralls, and multiple masks. And yeah, I've seen H2O. It's, it's, a good it's a good Michael Myers movie. A Halloween 6 mask, a bloated mask, and an awful CGI monstrosity. Event yeah, that was a terrible mask. <laughs> May have been a good movie, but bad mask. Pulling on a mask with revealing eye holes and poofy hair. He goes head to head with his sister, but leaves, well, ahead. Although in Resurrection, it's revealed that Michael switched outfits with a paramedic. His new mask has more definition, noticeable makeup, and less frizzy hair. He finally manages to eliminate his sister, and then gets entangled in a web show. Although he's taken out with kung fu and exposed wiring. Or is he? But that doesn't matter because this chicken fried killer is abandoned for a remake series where Michael appears as a murderous 10 year old in clown attire. He also. 10 year old? I thought it was like a 7 year old. <laughs> well, it's Rob Zombie's version, so it could be a little different. Dons the signature Michael mask, which has smaller features and thicker hair. Once locked up, he starts wearing paper mache masks and grows into a muscle bound freak. After breaking out, he finds a greasy brown jumpsuit and his now grungy mask. He even recreates the original's ghost look. He goes after his young sister, but is shot multiple times, ending his mate. I think, like, my little brother has seen a little bit of this, 
And I think Lori was a little tiny little baby when he was like 10, so why would he kill his own baby sister? That's my question. But he's right as rain in the sequel. His mask deteriorates even more, and he incorporates hobo-inspired attire in his ensemble. HOBO-INSPIRED ATTIRE?! Michael, what have you been doing, dude? Pretty well ditching his mask. His younger self is also seen, but looks completely different. What's he doing? Time, Michael is led by his ghost mom to again attack his sister. But this kind of sounds like some Jason Voorhees would do. But this bomb is shot down by the police. Ignoring all other follow-ups, in Halloween 2018, Michael is again taller, his coveralls are darker, and his mask is boxier with taut hair, no exposed flesh tones, and added aging. He's apparently been locked up for 40 years, but when getting transferred, he breaks free and goes on one of his usual sprees, until he's hit by a car, briefly getting knocked out, which allows his insane doctor to wear the trademark mask. But Michael awakens and nips that twist in the butt. He then faces his now- Yeah, yeah, he does. He uh, I, I'm not gonna say it, because spoilers. Not sister and her family getting trapped in her burning house. Although, in Halloween Kills, he's saved by some helpful firemen. Michael has heavy metal damage, bandaging around his hand, and a two-faced style burn. He's also seen in a flashback with a DH 2018 mask and navy blue coveralls. This time, Michael takes on a mob of angry idiots, with each kill supposedly leveling up his evil powers. He then executes Lori's daughter. In Halloween ends, a sewer-dwelling Michael is covered in- What? Did you guys just say Pennywise? As soon as Pennywise came up, the Pennywise evolution come up. I might do that for my next video. Boss, his hand is no longer bandaged, and he's become extremely weak. Oh. He apparently manifests his evil into a local outcast who takes on the Michael persona, but fails miserably. When the real Michael comes to retrieve his mask, he's taken down by the remaining strodes, with the entire town then mulching his remains in a shredder, finishing the shape once and for all. Well, until the next reboot, at least. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this fully reanimated and redesigned Michael Myers video. Shout out to the love patrons at yeah guys make sure uh, guys so make sure to hit that like button right there and subscribe down below with that notification bell on uh, all right guys uh, and also go subscribe to tele animated and uh, go subscribe to my main channel looking cool 929 as well all right guys i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out peace